Good evening. WA is on COVID alert tonight after three interstate truck drivers tested positive to the virus in two separate scares. The truckies visited a number of Perth suburbs, including a pizza shop and supermarket. Health authorities are right now reviewing security vision to ensure they were following our strict protocols, including wearing masks. It's a reminder of what's coming when the doors open. COVID-infected South Australian truckies triggering new exposure sites across Perth. The fact that these two uh, truck drivers were in Western Australia for three days uh, and went to a number of sites is obviously a cause for concern. Two separate trucks carrying two drivers each arrived in WA on December 9. The first pair returned a negative rapid antigen test at the border, heading back to South Australia on December 12, where they tested positive. But health authorities are worried they may have been infectious when visiting a number of businesses in our southeastern suburbs. Crust Pizza in Cannington and a chemist warehouse in Cannington the following day. A BP truck stop in Kewdale and Woolworth at Bentley Plaza. I just found out about an hour ago, so I just went into the back room and I called in my brother and I was like, I just might as well get tested at ASAP. The protocols that they, they should have been wearing masks, um, obviously uh, as they went to truck stops and, and the like, uh, but we just need to make sure that we have a good look at the CCTV vision. The second pair had produced a negative PCR and rapid antigen test and spent just 24 hours in WA before returning home. Only one has since tested COVID positive, the exposure limited to the border. All four drivers are fully vaccinated with 55 casual contacts now in isolation. The first truck is uh, of a higher risk than the second, although it is early days in terms of the testing. But there'll be no delay to our reopening on February 5, much to the relief of those desperate to reunite with family. Darrell Baker had to scrap Christmas travel plans from Queensland to Auburn Grove to finally meet her four-month-old granddaughter, Aviana. My heart is absolutely broken and shattered because it was... We had so many plans, mate. Well, having Steph's family has been... Has been has helped me a lot, but um, having my mum, I mean, you know, it's like you need you need your family there. Our medical association says the painstaking wait will be worth it to give our hospital system more time to prepare. Are we ready? Look, I don't think so. I think it's going to be a real shock because we have not yet been tested and these things are not real until they're on your doorstep. While union bosses are calling for emergency government payments for workers who were required to isolate after being exposed to the virus. These workers will be left with a situation where uh, either they miss work and miss income or miss the rent. And that's an impossible decision for working people to make. Joshua Dorr, Nine News. And Josh, two more exposure sites have just been added. Michael, they are Dan Murphy's in Beckenham on Thursday the 9th of December between 8.25pm and 9.15pm and the Domino's behind me here in Bentley on the 10th of December between 3.45pm and 4.20 in the afternoon. The advice for anyone who has been to either of those two sites or the others listed in that story is to get tested and isolate until you return a negative result. Testing clinics across the eastern suburbs here this afternoon have been fairly quiet. 55 casual contacts identified so far but that number is expected to grow and there is a chance that extended hours will be at testing clinics tomorrow should more exposure sites pop up. The priority for health authorities tonight is tracking down that CCTV. These locations are allowed to be visited by truck drivers as long as they wear a mask and keep 1.5 metres away from people so that CCTV will be poured over tonight to ensure those truck drivers were abiding by the rules. Michael? Josh, thank you for the update.